This is our planet, the Earth. It's an amazing world, full of natural wonders. But there's far more to Earth than its natural beauty. My name is Ian Stewart, and I want to show you how our planet works. Our planet is unique in the solar system, perhaps even in the universe. And that's no surprise when you consider the outrageous good fortune it's taken to create our extraordinary world. What makes the Earth so special is the way that everything seems to come together to create the perfect conditions for life. It's taken four and a half billion years to turn the Earth from a barren rock into the world we know today. It's been an incredible journey of catastrophe and renewal. But now this rare and remarkable planet is facing perhaps its greatest challenge, humankind. The question is, will it survive? Ever since we humans have been able to scan the heavens, we've been looking for signs of intelligent life like us up there in space. This array of radio telescopes in America has been part of that search. These telescopes can see deep into space. But so far, we haven't found anything. Now, of course, it could be that we've not been looking for long enough or on the right part of space. But there is another possibility. Perhaps we haven't found any signs of life because there's simply nothing out there. It's hard to believe that we might be on our own. After all, there are billions of stars in our own galaxy, the Milky Way. And the Milky Way is just one of billions of galaxies. You'd think there must be other Earths out there, just like ours, capable of supporting life just like us. It's only a question of finding them. But now there's a new theory. It's called the rare earth theory. It says it's simple life like bacteria. The type of slime I've seen in hot volcanic pools may be common in the universe. But for complex life like plants and animals to evolve, requires an extraordinary sequence of events. And having traveled the world to make this series, what strikes me most is the incredible good fortune it's taken to make our planet a home for such rich and diverse life. To get an idea of just how lucky Earth has been, let me take you back to what I reckon is the most important day in Earth's history. This one day was responsible for much of what makes Earth so special. And yet, it was just a chance event. This is our planet, just 50 million years after it formed. It's thought that back then, Earth had a twin, Thea. The two planets were born in similar orbits. The result, a catastrophic collision. Thea was obliterated, leaving a ring of debris orbiting the Earth. This may have been a vital first step in creating the conditions for complex life.
That's because Earth consumed a part of its twin and became a significantly larger planet. The result was to increase the pull of Earth's gravity. Without this, Earth's atmosphere might have gradually leaked into space. Even an atmosphere needs gravity to hold it down. It keeps our planet warm. It drives the climate and provides us with the oxygen we breathe. But the atmosphere also gives us something else that's vital for life on Earth. Protection. This is a giant meteorite crater. It was blasted out of the Earth's crust 50,000 years ago. Well, there it is, Meteor Crater. This place really gives you a sense of the destructive power of incoming meteorites. The blast here would have vaporized a city larger than London. But the lump of rock that did it measured almost 80 feet across. The impact exploded with the force 70 times greater than the atom bomb. But what makes this massive crater so significant isn't how big it is, but how rare it is. Because although it might not look like it, space is a hazardous place. There are millions of objects that cross Earth's path at thousands of miles per hour. With so much debris up in space, Earth should be hit much more often. Other craters do exist, but they're few and far between. This one is in Namibia. In some cases, they can only be seen with the latest mapping techniques, like this one in Brazil. But even with this technology, less than 200 impact craters have been found across the entire planet. This is partly because erosion continually rubs out the evidence of past impacts but it's also because of the atmosphere's protective role. To understand how something as intangible as thin air protects us from meteors, you need to find a meteorite that has survived its fall to Earth. Meteorites are rare, so you need to go to great lengths to track one down. Dr. Phil Bland is a planetary scientist on just such a mission, leading an expedition out onto the barren Nullarbor Plain in Western Australia, three days' drive from the nearest town. The Nullarbor is vast, but it's as flat as a pancake. So it's the ideal hunting ground for meteorites. Little has changed here for millions of years, allowing meteorites to accumulate undisturbed. <laughs> 